Now in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about controller annotation and also the rest controller annotation in Spring Boot. A controller annotation in Spring Boot is actually to mark a class as a Spring MPC controller. It actually handles the HTTP request to the server. The other annotation which is rest controller annotation is a special version of controller. REST controller annotation is used when you want to build RESTful APIs where responses are automatically serialized to JSON or XML. So for our better understanding, in our application, we, are, we were developing an application which will be serving the history of music. So here, let's say we want to see all the song by an artist in a particular year and we want to have the data in JSON format so that an Android application or a front-end application like React or Angular can consume and represent the data. So for that, the request format will be like this. The URL is songs, then we have query parameter, artist name, and year. And I want to see all the songs of that artist on that particular year. So for that, I have prepared the get request and since this is a RESTful API, we will be using REST control annotation. So let's dive into coding. I have already implemented that. You just have to understand the code. Since we are serving the request as REST request, we have annotated the main class as REST controller. And here we have injected the song service and now we have annotated this get song by artist and year with gate mapping annotation. So this gate mapping annotation is actually giving us a gate route which will be serving the gate request. To handle the query parameter, I have passed two request param in this method. So when a request with this URL is performed, then Spring will serve the request to this method. So after getting the request, this param will be served to the song service, which is get song by artist and year. And inside that service, we have called the repository, which we, which is find songs by artist and year. So this will be equal sign here. So let's uh, start our server and hit from postman to see what we can get see the server has responded with status code 200 but we didn't get anything because we have nothing in our database so let's insert some song okay i have inserted two song of reward released in 1993 let's serve the request here so then we can see that we are getting two different JSON object in the JSON array. First one is song creep, second one is song named icon. So what is happening here when the server is getting the request as this, then the request is dispatched to this route. Then we are calling the service called get songs by artist and year and this is calling a repository where we have written a jpql which is fetching all the songs with the given artist name and year and booklet into a list and we are actually returning a list as you can see we are returning a list but since this is a rest controller the list is actually converted to a JSON array. So that is happening behind the scene with faster XML Jackson, which is a library in Spring Boot, Spring Boot Starter Web for handling a REST request. All the thing happening behind the scene to parse to a JSON array is done with this control annotation. But when we want to serve a static HTML page or 
a page from our template engine like timely for jsp then we can use directly the controller annotation so i i hope you got the idea what is a controller in spring boot and what is its purpose and why we need this kind of annotation in every spring boot application if you need if you have any confusion or have any feedback for me you can write down your comment below i'll be happy to answer and thank you so much for taking the time to watch my tutorial